Hi tribe, welcome to the Juvia's Place YouTube channel. My name is Ohema. If you are new to this channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber or a returning viewer, hey! In the previous video, I showed you guys what the Nubian Royal palette looked like on my skin. Today, we're gonna take a look at the Nubian Glow collection. So if you wanna see what we can create with the Nubian Glow collection and what the Nubian Glow collection is actually all about, then keep on watching. So the Nubian Glow Collection is made up of an eyeshadow palette and two lip balms. So here are the two lip balms in the collection. We have mango and guava. Now you can tell the difference because one has a green lid and the other one has an orange lid. The lip balm in this collection are more fluid compared to the lip balm in the Royal Collection and they're not as pigmented as the lip balms in the Royal Collection. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch one of these for you. They go on very smoothly. Mm. This one smells like mango. It's a very faint smell. I did I did not smell the first time I used it, but now I can really smell it. It smells good and this is what it looks like. It barely has any pigments in it at all and it kind of sort of goes on like a gloss but it feels like a lip balm if you know what i mean so this is what they look like we're gonna leave it on the lips the packaging on this is the squeeze bottle type packaging and the tip of it is that old school lip gloss type tip okay moving on to the eyes today we're going to be using the nubian glow eyeshadow palette the nubian glow eyeshadow palette is an orange palette made up of three shimmer shade one pressed glitter and two matte shades okay this palette is a gorgeous palette i actually dug into this palette to make an eyeliner on my channel hence it looks like it's like broken into but i used this to make an eyeliner and it was a beautiful eyeliner okay so i'm gonna go ahead and prep my eyelids and i'll come back so we can jump into the nubian glow eyeshadow palette so my eyelids are prepped we're gonna go ahead and jump into the nubian glow palette i don't want to look up at you because i don't want to crease this beautiful base that we got going on so first i'm taking the deepest orange shade in this palette i am swelling around in this like a typhoon okay i love digging into my palettes i'm gonna place that on the outer corners of my eye and i'm gonna bring it halfway into my into my eye just like that i'm creating like a like an angle and i'm packing on the shade so i'm not really worried about blending just yet i'm just packing on the colors i'm bringing it slightly up above my crease like right there and i'm just packing it on okay next i'm going into the paler orange shade in here it's almost like a yellowish orange shade and i'm gonna place that on the inner parts of my eye once again i'm just stamping in the color i'm not really blending or anything i'm trying to get as much color onto the base before it dries down so we're just packing on the color right now okay so i'm gonna go ahead and blend this side out you can see that i place my yellow shade i didn't blend it out i just tapped it in like i told you guys so now i'm gonna go back in and blend the edges of this yellow out of course i'm gonna keep going back and forth into the palette as much as i need to to make sure that the edges of this is blown out and going up i'm gonna go ahead and start blending the edges of the orange out so it's a little bit more blown out than it is right now i have fall out of my face because of the way i dig into my palettes to make sure that the shade shows up if you're someone who doesn't dig into your palette as much as i do or as hard as i do you're definitely not gonna get any fallout on your face but for me i'm a digger i dig into the palette so i can get what i need out of them you know what i mean okay now i'm gonna take the blending brush for the yellow or for the light orange shade and i'm gonna blend that back into the orange shade that way we do a forwards blend and a backwards blend that gives you the best mix of the two colors so that they both look 
blended. So I'm taking some of that press glitter shade and I'm gonna place that in the middle of my eye where we put that pale orange shade. And I'm just blending that in. Just making sure the edges are a bit dispersed. Just to give the inner part of the eye that little sparkle. So we're still keeping this flame look. We're just glamming it up, okay? Now the one thing that I found when it comes to pressed glitter shades, the best way to apply them to get them to give you that beautiful coverage, beautiful shine, and also just to cover everything is to use a flat brush. Now if you use like a flat concealer type brush and you go into the palette like this, right it picks up a lot of that product on there and all you have to do now is to spread it for lack of a better word blend it in okay so you just gently spread it over like this it's gonna grab onto the first layer of glitter that you put down the more you keep adding to it the more intense the shine is getting and you saw how we started this is how we're ending it is very very easy to get it to show out i'm going to take that first orange shade and i'm going to blend the edges of this glitter out i'm just tapping into it so that it can dis it can disappear that little line that we had going on over there in the beginning i'm going to go into that yellow shade and i'm going to blend over that again so that i can get a beautiful transition from glitter to orange light orange shade we're gonna go ahead and jump into a very quick skin routine montage using the i am magic foundation in the shade number 120 we're going to use these two concealers in the shade j3 and j4 okay and then we're gonna use the chocolates palette as a contour i don't know what i would be doing with all this chocolates palette Okay, and then I'm gonna use the Saharan Blush Palette Volume 1 as my blush, okay? Let's jump into the skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with the Juvia's Place Luxe Lip Liner in the shade Cola. I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place Lipstick and this is the shade 2020. Okay guys, so this is my finished look using the Juvia's Place Nubian Glow Palette. I literally feel like I have fire on my eyes. Like This look is literally fire, okay? There's fire on my eyes. I absolutely love the way this glitter shade shifts, okay? It's like a multi-dimensional fire dance on my eyes. Like, I can't get over it. Like, you can always always go ahead and add a glitter adhesive to your eyes before you put the glitter on top of it you don't need to but you can if you want to okay and if you smooth it on it stays in place as you can see it's not flaking on my face so yeah if you haven't yet picked up a nubian glow holiday set it is available on the juvia's place website and also at ulta.com so that's it for me using juvia's place nubian glow collection thank you guys so much for watching my name is ohema here on youtube and ohema bonsu on instagram and other socials let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions and also let me know what you think about this look i love you guys and i hope to see you guys really really soon bye